What a great start for the tournament. Um, you had played uh, Kudara Valley before and that was also a win. What do you think you, you did right to, to come out as successful? Uh, for me, this kind of a tournament now uh, is a big step after the Olympic Games and I'm quite happy with the win. And uh, well, all I did, I just tried to play uh, my, my game, my uh, offensive game and uh, uh, it was successful, so I'm, I'm really happy with, with this. As you mentioned, um, you played in the Olympics and you haven't played much in tournaments since then. How have you managed to keep the intensity up to come strong uh, into this tournament? Uh, after the Olympics, I had uh, uh, some break uh, from badminton, so I was thinking what I, what I need, what I want. And uh, I came to the decision that I want to continue. And uh, I just uh, keep practicing a lot and uh, also I'm enjoying it now much more. So I think uh, that was the clue for, the, for now. What has motivated you to, to keep on going, to continue? Uh, in my country now, uh, our federation making a big job uh, to try to develop badminton to make it more popular in the country. and. Uh, uh, that was one of, of the motivation for me to, to help them to, to keep uh, promote badminton with my results because uh, I'm still uh, the highest in the rank so I can participate in tournaments like this and it's a huge uh, step forward for uh, badminton in Ukraine. Your leading figure in, uh, in the badminton in Ukraine and you're quite experienced. Who do you see in this tournament as your strongest opponents uh, in women's singles? Uh, okay, th I think in the next round I probably will play Kirsty Gilmer, so for now she's... <laughs> and what would you say to Kirsty if she was watching this right now? Uh, if you face her? Uh, let's have a good match.